Hi, puzzle lovers. Let's do some more puzzles and break our record. We are standing at 3005 right now and our record is 3030, something like that. Let's see if we can break it. In this position, I can take the bishop, of course, first. If I don't take takes with check. So suppose I take the bishop and then takes back. What's the continuation? Even it doesn't need to take back because once I take, he can take my d pawn with pawn, and that's not a good sign for me because with rook attacks my queen. Another direction is just to take the pawn with pawn, attacking the queen. Uh, queen takes the rook, we take back. Then rook takes the uh, rook, we take, mm, uh, and then we may exchange the bishop. And then say check with it. Yeah, that sounds very good, right? Check with the queen and then win the other bishop. I'm saying I'm saying something like this. After takes, we take. After this, we take. Okay. What was the situation? The situation was that after all exchanges happened, I saw different line, but it doesn't matter. After all exchange happens, we win the bishop. And then win the game because two rooks are not stronger than a queen and a knight. Let's go for the next one. Check with the queen. If king takes, the pawn is mate. If king goes down, then check with the rook is mate. Oh, <coughs> sorry. I, I, I was thinking, oh, that's super easy. But if I check with the queen at f4, takes with the rook. <laughs> That's funny. Funny mistake by me. Another direction. We should find another direction. Check with the queen at... Uh, check with the queen at g... Uh, at e7. So... Or even check with the queen at c4 check with the queen as c4 if king takes the pawn we check from g4 and that's a mate if rook in front we mate everything is mate so let's do it and then just take it and mate it nice uh, first i saw queen f4 but it doesn't it didn't work but then i thought about diagonal checks but diagonal checks weren't so powerful because at some point he could push the g pawn or he could play rook f5 to stop my diagonal checks and rook f5 was fine because the pawn was defending the rook so i had to find different way to attack it and win okay this position i can grab that i can grab that bishop but the problem here is that once I grab the bishop, uh, takes my knight with the bishop. Currently, if I grab the bishop, my queen is defended with the. Uh, I mean, I grab it with the queen because otherwise, bishop takes my queen. If I grab it right now with the queen, then takes with the, uh, my knight is defending the queen. But first, he removes the defender with taking my. Uh, taking my knight and then uh, it's equalized then I either if I capture the queen then capture it back with the bishop I think taking the bishop is forced but what is the continuation from here I can capture the bishop currently my queen is defended with the knight if if it captures my knight to remove defender of my queen of course i cannot capture the queen with the queen instead i can use the black squares of mm, black are very weak i can go queen f6 at this position if black tries to save the bishop for example by moving the bishop i play bishop c3 and i'm threatening mating attack so let's go for it Queen f6 is a force because if attacks to my queen with a rook, then I can grab the bishop. 
Oh, oh, I can grab the bishop again and again. Good one. So we are getting closer to our record. I can win the b pawn. Then, then what is the continuation here? Or maybe I first win the bishop with check, takes back with the knight, and then, or even better, I win the knight first. If takes my bishop, then I take back with the rook. If doesn't take the bishop but takes the rook, I take his bishop with check. And it's a very strong check. Or I don't need to get, take it with the check, I take the bishop with the rook. And I'm threatening to give a very bad check in the next move. So let's do it. Oh, it doesn't work. Why? Take that one first, then say check, 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 mate. Almost mate, not completely. Well, it was more complicated than I expected. So for this puzzle, let's see. I can give a check with the queen, but that doesn't seem to be a promising move. I can say check with the bishop actually. Then if his bishop goes back, I can say check with the queen. If bishop doesn't go back, push the pawn, I take the pawn. Yeah, let's do it. So I take the pawn, takes my queen with check. I take back with the rook. Then moves the king away, I take the pawn with check. I think I should take it. There's no way except to accept it, right? And then I'm thinking about... Hmm, there are two options for check. Um, pushing C2 and taking the B2. Taking B2 enables me to win his rook with check. But it's not a best move, maybe. The problem... No, with that is that suppose I take his rook, count the pieces, takes back with the, takes back with the bishop, and then count the pieces. I am up a rook at this moment, but I am have bishop and knight. He has two bishop and a knight, one extra piece, but exchange down. Is it worth it or not? A winning exchange is enough for this tactic? <laughs> Maybe not. I thought about the c2 because it's a check, king should move away, then I can play rook d1. Rook d1, then if it takes with the rook, then I win. I think the answer is to take b2, but I want to see what's wrong with c2. Or c2 just plays bishop c3, okay. I found the mistake. C2 is not the way to go. I spent a lot of time on it, but I didn't need to do that. Countjust.com, give me the points and give me the next puzzle.